Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Thrifty Shopping Cart. So today I have a quick money tip video for you. It's Friday and what you're looking at right now is belt buckles that you could sell on eBay. So the first one I'm going to show you is a Raphael Lauren belt. Now this is an actual suede belt. Now places you might get this belt at a good price. These are the stores I would look like look at. I would check Macy's, I would check Marshall's or TJ Maxx because I do know they do have designer um, brands that are shipped to the store. So whatever they sell in season, they usually ship them out to the stores. And then you'll be able to get them for um, a discounted rate. Now this is like at TJ Maxx, Marshall's. Macy's, you will find them, but they're pretty much, they're probably going to be expensive. Um, when I mean by expensive, then you might probably get them for like $100 or maybe $80, bucks, um, only because it's suede. But um, sometimes you are lucky. Macy's do have some, you know, afternoon sales or they're offering 50% off the store. So you might want to check your local flyers, um, especially now when we're going into springtime. You're probably going to find a lot of these belts at the store because they're trying to get rid of all their winter stuff. So they'll probably lower the prices down. So I would definitely keep an eye out for that. The one that I'm looking at right now in the middle is the one that everyone probably has in their closet. It's not a real leather belt. It's not real silver buckles. It's just a general um, brown fox for um, leather brown belt, um, Western style. This one got sold for $20. Um, this buyer, this seller did put it up for... Um, $20 and some change and they also made the buyer pay for shipping the next one now this one you know you might be lucky you might come across this at maybe at a state sale um, maybe at a yard sale maybe like an upscale yard sale at, at a high-end neighborhood um, an auction you're probably not gonna find still like this at a Goodwill or Savers I'm not sure, but if you did, it would be in the glass, and I, they would ask a lot of money for it. This is actually an 18 karat Tiffany and Cold belt buckle. Um, I'm not, if I'm correct, I think it got sold for close to two grand on eBay. Um, so the seller that was selling it had a bunch of pictures. Um, I think they also had some other stuff to prove um, that it was 18 karat gold. So if you do come across this at an auction, any type of gold or um, silver and if this was real silver it would have got sold for a lot of money definitely do pick them up now these two ones are probably more realistic that these three right here are probably ones that you're going to come across to a lot now this one a lot of times and i actually learned something when i made this video um a lot of times people usually don't see guess as a designer brand but guess belts that are leather are being sold for close to $200. So that was for me a little shocker because I do come across a lot of guest belts at Burlington Co. Factory, Marshalls, Macy's, and I just overpass them. I never actually look at them. But now I'm going to start picking them up when they have sales and I'm going to go in these stores and buy these belts and see if I could sell them on eBay or um, if I got on Gated, maybe on Amazon, but probably eBay is the way I'm going to be going for now. And the last one I have right here, um, a lot of times you'll see these ones. You might, you might see these ones at probably like at a Kmart or a Walmart or maybe even a Target. They're just general um, fashion style belt buckles. So it, it looks like it's emerald and it looks like it's silver, but it's actually, it's not real. So even though they're not real, they're still being sold for anywhere from 20 to like $30 and up. So these are the, that's a quick little tip I have for you guys for this Friday. So if you have some belts in your closet that are leather or, or suede or have um, fashion belts, or if you're lucky, you might have maybe a gold plated belt buckle you could definitely sell them on eBay. They're being sold for a lot of money. There are buyers who are looking for these.